Today, in a new touch design tutorial, we're going to create light noodles. So, for this tutorial, we're going to use instancing. It's not a big one network, so that is cool. And as always, uh, I'm going to delete one everything, and we're going to start creating a circle. And this circle will be a small one, 0 0.02, 0 0.02. And then I'm going to connect this to a geometry. And then a camera, then a light. And always a render. And then we connect this to the output will be a null. And we change the name to out one. And we have our little circle. I'm going to change the color for this just to remember this is the end. Okay, and save this. And we continue. And uh, for this, we need to apply three things. Uh, it will be the position, the scale, and the color. And for that, uh, we're going to use a pattern. We're going to uh, use three times, I copy and paste this. Uh, the first one will be t, uh, Tx, the second one will be Ty, and the third one will be t, t, uh, c. So yeah, we have that. And we merge everything just for have everything connected to a uh, one box. And we create an all. And then, uh, just for see what is going on, we connect this to a chop. So right now we have a line. And if uh, I'm going to start moving maybe many of circles, I'm going to create this shape. Okay, uh, this is the X. What happened if I move, uh, change it to the Y. So we have we can create a really um, crazy thing with this because everything is a mathematical uh, thing. So yeah, that is cool. And then because we need to create the change the color, the scale, all this stuff. Uh, I prefer use a top. Uh, for that, we're going to transform this data, this number, to an image. And right now we need the RGB, the will be TX, TY, and T6. So we have that. When it, when it's too much information right now, it's uh, 1,000 1, pixels. It's okay. Uh, but if you have a lot, you can use feet square. So just in case. But right now, this is okay. And I'm going to apply color. Just to remember, we have this one. And uh, I'm going to connect this to a null. This will be, I'm going to put in, uh, the color position. And remember this, we have this shape. I'm going to instance, we're going to the geometry, go to instant enable this, go to translate, select RGB. And we have the same shape. So uh, as you remember we can change this and we have many shapes and I'm going to use the same data that uh, I, I uh, used to for that specific shape in this case will be 264 and will be 2 and this will be cosine and will be on 264 and then I'm going to put here Ah, sorry, this is not the number, it's two, six, seven, six, seven, eight, and this will be four, and this will be a cosine two, and will be 50, and will be zero dot 45. So yeah, we have our shape. And the cool of this, uh, we can use a face, so we have this movement maybe, and this uh, set position. I don't like it too much, but we have TX and TY. And it's important uh, to understand this. If we use uh, just X, we have this. So I don't like it too much. 
if you I move y, you have this. I don't like it too much too. But if we move this tx into y2 at the same time, we have uh, a specific animation. In this case, I will put a yes time. That seconds multiply 0 that 0 0.5 because we didn't want to go slow. And then I copy this and paste it to the other. Will be, it needs to be the same uh, speed. And we have this. Okay, so yeah, that is cool. And right now we have the shape. That uh, the second one will be the um, scale. And for that, uh, we have this uh, shape two is our coordinates. And I'm going to create a noise. And this noise, we need just a noise. Okay, because right now we have before we have this imp uh, input. Uh, plus noise. I don't like it. I prefer this noise uh, for the D. And this is important. This shape 2 has the coordinates for every dot or circle in the image. This noise not, because right now just um, we have the resolution, not the position of everything. So the noise, if you can see here, we have the coordinates. So we need to connect this to coordinates. And right now everything is okay. And then I'm going to connect a map. I'm going to explain later uh, why I connect this. And then I'm going to connect a null. And the null will be a scale. I'm going to apply color. I'm going to geometry. Drag this to a scale. R G G M B. So right now it's too much noise and um, uh, we can play with this, uh, maybe much noise or less. In my case I use 20 and I use the expon exponent, a big exponent, 52 maybe. And when we change amplitude, these things happen. So don't, don't be scared with this. So right now we hit this is big and then we have maybe these black areas. Okay. And that is because as for the amplitude and maybe change this a little bit. Yeah, maybe 3D, I don't know. Yeah, maybe we have that. Let's see what happened. And we have that uh, big uh, things, so we can use uh, this thing. Um, we normalize the number, minus one here, minus one, and minus one. So yeah, I prefer this one. And we can change the scale, maybe zero dot mm, three. Not so related. One, two, point uh, three, one point three. Um, yeah, we have this. Okay, so we can play with that, and we can animate this to ABS time ten seconds. Always a small number. Okay, so we have this like bumping. I don't know. Yeah, they are moving. So we have the scale. And then we can apply the color. And for the color is the same. We create a noise. And for the noise, we need to send the coordinates. Have this. We need just the noise. In this case, uh, yes, it's 4D. And um, I'm going to create a ramp. Ramp. I prefer the ramp will be circular. We change just in, in this case we be apply blue and red and we connect everything to a lookup. Give me a second for move this. Okay. And we connect everything to a lookup. We have that. And we connect this to an all. And, and again I'm going to just create this and then we can move the data to color and then color 
go to geometry, the second tab here we have color, color, R, G, B. So right now it's too much noise. We can change that, maybe it's 10. Um, that is better. Um, maybe the harmonic, yeah, I prefer that. Exponent maybe two, maybe this one. And for the ramp, we have a lot of options, but in this case, I'm going to use the same that I uh, used it in, in, in the example. And as you can see, I'm going to connect this to here. As you can see, the ramp is just this, a lot of color. And I'm going to connect this one, okay? So we are using the same as, as the example. I'm going to save this. So that is with the shape. Um, we have the color, the position, and the scale. So yeah. And for the second step will be the like the post production. And for that uh, we have uh, the bloom. And for the bloom, um, we can go to here and select bloom and connect this to here and see what happened. We have this effect. But I don't like it too, uh, too much because it's, um, I don't have too much control. We have all these things, but maybe it's not the effect that I like it because I want the effect like a light around this. It's like a brightness. And for that, uh, we, I'm going to always create a null. Yeah, we have our null here. And then I'm going to um, create a channel mix. And for the, we have the blacks. I don't like the blacks. We change the alpha to zero. So right now the black is uh, transparent. And for this, we need to uh, create, in this case, four different blurs, because if, if you, you can imagine how we can create a, a, a light around this. It's the same image, but with different uh, blur. So I'm going to create a blur here. Copy and paste. Yeah, I'm going to organize this. This first one would be 1 to 10. The second one would be 2 for 20. The third one would be 4 for 40. The uh, four will be uh, eight and eight. Okay, and then we connect everything to a composite. Connect, connect, connect will be a screen. Screen, screen, screen. Okay, so we have this nice light effect. I'm going to, I'm obsessive with this. Everything will be, yeah, in position. This. Okay. And we need a level just because we need to control this light. And then we connect this to a composite. Connect to a level. And we have maybe a screen. So this is um, much like a light. Um, and then w I, I was working in this uh, visual and I, I finished here and I thought maybe I need something else. And I I always uh, use this thing, it will be an edge. I don't know why, but I try to think what is what else I can add. And I like this, I have like the borders of the shape. And um, I'm going to, we can play with this too much or no, maybe not too much information. And maybe five. And then play with this two, maybe it will be five. I don't know, we can play with this. And then um, for me was, this is okay. We can apply this and we can see what happened. Uh, Always use a level because if you want to um, change the intensity, we can yeah use that a level. 
again a composite composite we'll connect this and will be the, again a screen so for me okay we have this but what happened if we apply um, maybe transform and change the scale maybe one dot one one that one so it's around this and again was maybe it's too clean and we need to add uh, maybe a noise and I like this is uh, create a noise uh, so we have our noise with this um, with this shape and connect this to a display so we need this uh, this uh, create a distortion in the image always is crazy don't worry we need to put zero so dot zero one not a uh, little one so right now we have creating this weirdness around it's uh, not too clean we have that i don't know uh, like a dust sometimes and we can change this so you have maybe something like that or whatever region in my case we just need not too much and just that and that's it uh, uh, this is the tutorial uh, you can play always around uh, always with the camera you can play with the zoom and oh, oh we can see here i'm going to put six so we can see here this and we have this level so we can play with the transparent or that white things and and we you can play it always with these things and play around and see what happened this is like a circle put crazy things too many and maybe what happened if we put a lot of the circle and w again with the x I like this it's like a lot of dots around that and maybe five so you can see the details oh again uh, there it is so you have this and yeah uh, play with this and see and figure that out uh, what we are thing uh, you can create and if you have any questions uh, just send me a, a message on discord instagram patreon and i hope you like it i enjoy doing this tutorial i i love all the results that, that i have and i hope to see you uh, in the next tutorial so bye